Hi everyone, this is a video that I have promised to make about recoiling and reweaking the wipe pen 3 cartridges. And before we go anywhere, uh, I better remind you that I told you on the last video that I do not recommend you to um, refill this after finishing one tank of original liquid in these cartridges and the reason is because that if I show you here I took a picture and you can see this is the result of one tank of original liquid in this cartridge and this is the result of me emptying the tank and then filling it with my own liquid after one use of the, this tank and when we maximize this you can see the damage that has been done after just simply uh, vaping one tank so that's why I do not recommend to refill this at all even for once unless you empty the tank and then refill it with your own liquid that is not very sweet and you know this is the result of too much flavoring and uh, too much sweetener so this is practically useless and you're gonna uh, taste the burn all along so now we go to the uh, reweaking and recoiling and just to show you I saved the cotton uh, week of the original one and you see is burnt and it's not looking really good and I have to tell you it looks like uh, organic cotton and it was really compact in there and this is the coil in there I cleaned it up rather for the for this video and it's nine wraps of 34 gauge camphor is really tiny then and the way to open it as I mentioned it before you just I uh, just separated it a little bit for you to see you just separate this edge from this edge and then the top is coming out and then little by little with a screwdriver you get this plastic piece out and hopefully it comes out with a chimney that is in there so uh, and this is the one that I emptied it and refilled it with my own juice and this is the result after one use of the tank and as you see it's really clean Yeah, and somehow um, I don't need to remind you that I do not recommend to refill this uh, unless you know what you are doing and you change the coil and everything. So this is this video has a disclaimer attached to it is because uh, you are dealing with electricity and so on. Do everything that I do here at your own risk, please. And if you are not an experienced uh, vapor or coiler, please do not attempt to do this that I am showing you right now. So that is behind us. Uh, this is the one that I already made. I wanted it to be clean for you guys and not to disgust you. And the way to change this, you separate the back that is positive and negative and then there are uh, these canthal ends positive and negative that is in this housing there they are coming out of these narrow holes there and then folded to that point I just get it out for you like so 
and another one you get it out like that and then you can straighten them up but it's very soft you can get the coil out now by just grabbing the end of the wick so this is the uh, just we pretend that this is the old one so we put it aside and when we make the new one the new one first you have to make the wraps over the two millimeters rod and then wick it with your choice of cotton wool this is in this case this is organic and non-bleached and very very clean and natural so this is it and you know, you better to leave the end of your canthal cables a little bit long uh, in order to be able if you see let me just maximize this zoom in and show you there are two holes there one there and one there and the end of this canthal has to go into either one of these let me just put my tweezers down it has to go into these holes one there and the other one there like so that's why you have to leave leave a little bit of end to this and leave one of them longer than the other one so i i put one of the ones that i already made in there and then we talk more so both of the ends of this canthal is in there and remember this is just seven wraps and then you leave all of this to the edge up to the edge the cotton wool comes to the edge and this one is a, a little bit longer because this is the airflow and then with a, a small screwdriver you just from the outside push the cotton wool inside and then you will see that it's going to go in there and stop somewhere I hope I stay in focus because I maximize it a lot as you see it's not going further down than that and then fluff this and remember don't cover this hole like so and don't pack in the cotton ball there just avoid getting out of these edges like so and then you end up with the end of your canthal sticking a little bit out like so you just push, pull it a little bit up and uh, it has to be this length out and then bend it to the side and then push it in that hole and then bite it a little bit like that and you do the same here bend it and then pushing it in that hole and then bite it like that like so and now if we put this positive and negative there we are going to make contacts contact with two ends of our cancer and then you have to remember the, these coils should not stick to each other 
as it's going to burn and you're going to have heat spot and that's it and now we are zooming out and going to measure the resistance so this is the original one the green is original and the red is the one that we just changed it I want you to pay attention to the ohmmeter to see the resistance and the resistance of this cable the test leads is about 0 0.20 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 but you can ignore that but listen look at this the resistance of the original one is 1.6 and the resistance with less wraps of the one that we made is nearly 4 ohms that is rather not good and that's why I do not recommend to make this wrapping because uh, it puts lots of uh, load on your battery so uh, this was just to show you how to do this and then when you done that you put this on top of your the other way around obviously <laughs> you put it in there like so and then you put the metal part over there and then you can push this to its relative place the flat part to the flat part this is the flat part and this is the airflow the flat part and so and you push it until the red part gets to the black part and clicks in so this was the video about how to reweak and recoil your uh, wipe pen 3 cartridges that I do not recommend this but that's how it's to be done Anyhow, I hope you find this video helpful and uh, until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and as always, have a great time.